Good morning. Welcome to the Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day in partnership with the Movement Studio. My name is Enyola Olatunji, and with me is my colleague, Wasiu Ali. This week is a very interesting week, especially for the U.S., because mm. we are expecting, yeah, expecting major data and going to be taking major decisions this week. And starting from the U.S., um, it will be holding its Fed meeting on Wednesday. And this is where the um, the replica, well, I say replica, but like the CBN of the U.S., which is the Fed, would be making decisions on whether to cut rates or hold it. Now, analysts that have been pulled, there is a consensus that there would be an hold in they rates. They will hold rates. They will hold rates. And currently, rate is about 5.25 to 5.50. And that is I for America. Mm. And it has been like this for, for almost two years because inflation, generally around the world, everyone has been battling with very rising inflation. Now, but inflation is easing already. It's easing already. Years. So at mm. the beginning of the year, there were... There were projections of two to three rates cuts, and um, because data was not even inflation was high, GDP was low, so they had to hold back on rate cuts. But since April, we've seen a decline, a decline in the U.S. inflation, and it's currently at three percent. And the Fed's target is two percent, so they are going likely going to wait till September for them to reach their target two percent before cutting the rates. Well, away from the U.S. now, yeah, in Nigeria. The Nigeria's um, Stambi Capital will be releasing Nigeria's Purchasing Managers Index on Thursday, and of course, this uh, the last report, which was in June, showed that Nigeria's um, PMI index fell to fifty point one percent, up from fifty two point one percent, which means that that was a low because yes. like it was increasing in the past. It was increasing in the port. Yeah, it was June yes. was increasing. And, Many of the things that um, buoyed this um, decline was high inflationary pressure. Yeah. And of course, petrol, um, scarcity, petrol scarcity, Naira, depreciation, and all, of that. So all of oh these are affecting business. So business dropped to a seven month low. Business activity in Nigeria wow. dropped to a seven month low. And this this is not very good for a country that is, you know, um, starving for business activities and for employment opportunities. Wow. So let's just let's just hope that this um, month. <laughs> I don't to think be honest, we can be to be honest with you, yeah, because it. things are not getting easier in any way. So we shouldn't I mean, expect. There was scarcity at the beginning of the month. There's currently there's still scarcity. There's still scarcity. The scarcity Naira is in it's one. It's in the one thousand six hundred range. So let's just let's just expect what will happen on Thursday. Let's, yes. So watch, out, watch out for the report. For that report. Um. Also, the U.S. Let me come back to the U.S. now. The yeah. U.S. will be releasing its unemployment data on Friday. Unemployment rose to four point one percent last month in, in June. June? Um, oh. It was it was four point four. It was, it was four percent in May, which rose again to four point one percent. And the thing with the U.S. data, it gives them hope one time. Uh, it's the next <laughs> month, but well, things are way better than it, yes, the beginning of the yes, year. Yes, things are way better because. Um, the, the if you look at the trend now, it's been mm-hmm. fluctuating to a three point seven at some point, to three point eight at some point, to three point nine. Now it is four point zero, I mean four point one percent. But the target is so to make unemployment be at four point zero percent. So the four point zero percent mm-hmm, unemployment that is just just in the US the right number of people who are jobless. Wow. So we just we let's let's um anticipate the report on Friday. Friday. Mm, that's what will happen. Yes. So the Naira, yeah. honestly, like the Naira is at a thousand six hundred. I think more than a thousand six hundred actually, because if you look at what it's um currently um it's sold at the parallel market, that's the black market. It's about one thousand six fifty, one thousand six eighty in some places. Wow. And um I, I think I business day reported that um the Naira fell to a four month low. Define CBN's um, rate hike. You know, that was the week yes, when the CBN. Yes, and most of that is true. Uh, last week, that was last week yes, actually. Yes, it is very, very unconventional for that mm-hmm. to happen because most of the time when there's rate hikes, you see the Naira gains. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that gains. has been the, the, has the, been the, the procedure. Pro- yes. But for last week, the very day that the rate was hiked, Naira fell. But Second day, to, be fair, to be fair, this is the season where there is um, a lot of 
demand for the for the dollar because people the, are trying okay. to pay their school fees. Mm-hmm. People are trying to go for summer. There's a lot of demand for dollar. And once there's demand, it's just a make no miss. Yes, um, it's natural. Price, higher demand. Higher demand causes mm-hmm. higher prices. Mm. So we hope that like after the season is over, the season of high demand is over, the Naira bounce back to what it has been projected to, st- to stabilize at between 1,400 to 1,500. Yeah, well, let's just yes. hope uh, Let's just hope that the Naira sees some sort of rebound, rebound very, very, very soon. Because Nigerians have had enough. All right. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so that would just be it. Um, for more insight on our stories, you can log on to our website at www.businessday.ng and follow us on all our social media platforms at BusinessDNG. My name still remains Wasiu Ali. And I am Inyola Olatinji. See you next week. For more in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng. 